Whew, wow, <laughs> it took me a bit, but using Python, Linux, my Raspberry Pi, and Arduino, I connected all these things to monitor my router. And it was really fun, but it, it was a bit of work, but nonetheless, so cool. Welcome back to Network Chuck. Uh, this is a bit of a weird video for me because you know I'm, I'm normally talking about you know IT stuff, uh, more IT career stuff, network engineers, system engineering stuff like that. Uh, but this one I'm talking about uh, more of the maker community. But I still tie in network engineering. I always bring it back home. So I love my Raspberry Pi, and I and you'll know I affectionately call him Malcolm because I used him in a uh, a man in the middle attack and. Malcolm in the middle. Anyways, go watch that video, it was, it was fun to make. But I love using him for all kinds of stuff, and I'm always looking for more excuses to do more, because he's just cool. If you don't have a Raspberry Pi, I mean, they cost nothing, like $35. Link below, it's awesome. But there is one thing I've always wanted to play with, and it's the Raspberry Pi's cousin, the Arduino. Arduino is like Raspberry Pi, in fact, he looks very similar to the Raspberry Pi, but he's more focused on uh, electronic things, <laughs> if I can sum it up like that. He's more focused on the, the home automation thing, connecting different kinds of electronics, LCDs, LEDs, uh, motors and fans, and just making all kinds of things happen in your house. It's really fun, but I've never played with it before, until now. So a company called Elegoo, I think I'm saying it right. They sent me one of their starter kits. And, our, and with Arduino, you need a starter kit because you don't want to buy just the Arduino because then you can't really do much with it. You got to have a bunch of toys to play with. So they sent me a starter kit and it has so many things to play with. So I opened the box, I opened it up and oh my gosh, a little bit overwhelmed because it had just a ton of stuff in there. Motors, fans, sensors, and just a lot of stuff I had no idea about. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to work, started playing with it, and oh my gosh, so much fun. I had so much fun that I even asked the company, I said, hey, can you give me two of those starter kits so I can give them away? Uh, I would love to give them to my followers. And they said yes, and that's what I'm giving away today. So link below to another contest, two of the Elogu starter kits from Amazon, link below, I'm giving away. Um, and they're, if you don't win, they're about 60 bucks. I think they actually have a discount going on right now. But if you're looking for a chance to, or an excuse to get into Arduino, especially it's great for your kids to help you start to learn programming. That, and that's, that was really the main reason I, I love it because it gave me a chance to, you know, work my Python skills and, and, and explore new technologies, play with Linux and um, figure out how to connect it to my router, which is a big tie in to the network programmability space. I used a REST API and it was, it was fun, it was fun. Okay, so like I said, the Arduino is more like for electronics. Uh, it's how you can learn how to integrate different things. You can learn some basic, I'm talking basic electronic stuff. And this Elegoo, I think that's how you're supposed to say it. The kit, the starter kit actually comes with a, a walkthrough PDF and they walk you through uh, playing with the, the motor, playing with the LCD and the keypad and just doing a, a bunch of cool stuff. So that's what I started with. Um, I started with just how to control LEDs. So I connect this to my computer uh, I and uh, it gets power from USB and you can basically just program it using the Arduino interface. So you plug in your code, you upload it to the device and it just does cool things. <laughs> so it kind of starts you with baby steps and it starts to teach you just some basic electronic stuff, which, you know, I'm not an electrical engineer. I don't remember any of that stuff from school. So it's kind of cool to go back and learn this stuff. So it starts out with like, hey, here's an RGB uh, LED. Learn how to make it come on and off and blink and, and on certain time intervals uh, with some programming. So that, that's fun. So I did that. So you can see the program just has it cycling through some of the uh, RGB color spectrums and it's just it's just a cool thing to kind of play with and learn basic electronics. And that's essentially what this is. It's kind of cool. The PDF basically just teaches you some basic stuff as you go through and just kind of play with your kit. Now, why am I telling you, an IT guy, a network guy, wherever you are in, in your IT career, why am I telling you to play with this? Because you're not gonna be an electrical engineer. Um, maybe you will be, I don't know. Well, as I went through the different tutorials and, and how to's, I, I got inspired. I'm like, I want to integrate this into my network, try out some Pythons, try out some network programmability. So I gave that a try. Five hours later. <sighs> All right, so <laughs> I was gonna show you something really cool. I still am, that I did with the Arduino. Now, <laughs> golly, why did I do this to myself? I, I wanted to I wanted to integrate it with my network somehow. And I did, the good news is I did. Bad news is it took me forever and I nearly lost my mind. So you ever like been in a situation where you worked on something forever and it, it was just gonna kill you if you didn't complete it. So hours upon hours later, 
from the point you just watched where I was showing you something cool. Well, a lot happened, <laughs> but here's the result. You ready to see it? Well, first, before I give you a peek here, I gotta tell you what I did. So I wanted to work on my skills with Python and network programmability and my Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. That's, that's a lot to, to work with, but I did it. So here's what I have. I have a Cisco CSR 1000V uh, router in my environment. What is that? It's their new, well, it's not really new, but it's been out there for a little bit, but it's relatively new. It's the uh, cloud services router. These are the routers that you can deploy in a VM and they are amazing. I've had it as in my environment for a while. I used it as a voice, actually I still use it as a voice gateway. And speaking of which, this is the router that people will deploy into the AWS cloud world to manage their, uh, their routing. So just a tidbit there for you. Um, however, and I apologize if I sound a bit crazy, I feel crazy. I've been working on this for hours, <laughs> just sitting at my computer. All right, it is that time. It's time for drop a bomble. How does this work? Well, the first five people to comment below with the hashtag I'm about to mention will win a training course from the one and only David Bomble. The training course today is the GNS3 Associate Training Course, uh, which is a new uh, certification from the GNS3 folks. And it's really cool. It covers a lot of the new stuff with uh, the evolving network engineering role. Uh, covering SDN and just all kinds of fun stuff. So it, it is really interesting, really neat, and there's a ton of information in this course. So anyways, the first five people to comment below, hashtag I love GNS3, will win the course. Go! All right, now back to the video. Anyway, so on the Cisco Cloud Services router, the 1000V, which is actually free by the way, no licensing required. All you, I think there's a bandwidth cap on it, like a one and a half megabits per second, but um, it's if you're doing a lab, not a big deal. Anyways, so the beautiful thing about that is you can enable the REST APIs on that router, which I did. And then I wrote a Python script that'll go out to my router and grab the statistics for my gigabit one interface. So I went out there, grabbed these statistics for, um, for all the internet traffic going out of my interface and coming in. So my Raspberry Pi is collecting that. I have a, a Python script running on him. He, let me, let me get over here. Get my, my phone out of the way here. So he's right here. He is connected via serial connection to this guy right here. You see him? This is my Arduino, and I've got the LCD hooked up. Oh, and you gotta see this, this is so cool. So using the REST APIs in Python and Arduino and Raspberry Pi, I have my stats displayed on my LCD screen. Now, this is just something I did, well, I, I was gonna say something I did real quick. It took me a bit because I'm a bit of a noob, but just think of what you could do <laughs> with this thing, with this Arduino and Raspberry Pi and programmability. I mean, this was fun. Even though I feel a little crazy, it was fun. Like I, want, I can't wait to do more with it. I think the next thing I wanna do is have it like sound an alarm when I reach a threshold, uh, when, you know, when I, my router's being overwhelmed. So that, I think that would be fun. Now I wanna see a big number on there. It is bits per second. I, I wanna throw a lot of traffic at my router and see if it reflects on my LCD. Let's check it out real quick. All right, so I'm throwing a lot of stuff at it right now. It'll probably stop responding because I have that uh, one and a half megabit per second limit. So it's being hit right now. I'm throwing a bunch of artificial uh, phone calls at it and it stopped. <laughs> so I'm gonna let it be hit for a second and I'm gonna stop it now. It should resume its uh, statistics here. Hopefully, and there he goes. Let's see what the uh, traffic coming in looks like. Boom! <laughs> that jumped up a bit. Now I didn't stop there. I also wanted to be able to see how many uh, subscribers I have on YouTube and connect to the Google API and get that displayed. And I did. So hold on, let me show you real quick. Okay, cool. The script is running. Let me show you what it looks like on the, on the screen. So it's pulling my stats, connecting to the Google API and pulling my YouTube subscriber count. Ha, almost 54. Let's do this guys. And then I also look at uh, Eli the computer guy and he, he's pretty up there. I'm trying to beat him. This is why I have this right here afterwards. <laughs> How many I have left to beat him. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this because it really is just fun. And I wanted to show you that if you're getting kind of like tired of learning networking or maybe it's getting a little stale for you, hey, you can make it fresh, man. You can do stuff like this where you, it just becomes more interesting. I, th this was cool. This is really fun to do. And there's so much more you can do. And there's a few more projects I want to do myself, but then I'll probably let my kids start playing with it and start teaching them programming and a little bit of electronics and, and they can start to see how cool this is. So I would recommend the starter kit. Uh, they, 
I think it's around 60 bucks on Amazon. You can check out the link below. Uh, really cool. And let me just show you some of the things it comes with. And this is some of the projects I'll be working on. I was gonna try and show you all these projects, but I just didn't have the time. But they have a keypad where you can enter in like, a, you know, a, pa a password or code. And they have a motion sensor device and a buzzer. So as you can imagine, you can put these together. When someone walks by, the alarm goes off and you have to enter a password. That's pretty cool. There's a bunch of projects out there like that to put that together. Now a project I really want to work on, <laughs> and I know I don't have the time for, is uh, this right here. What is this? Well this is an RFID sensor, and uh, if you don't know what RFID is, you know when you walk into a building or a corporate office and you have like a card that'll scan and beep and let you in, well that's what that is. So you can, you can build your own. So using, um, you can even use a little fob too if you've ever seen these. Create your own little key entry system. It also comes with a bunch of servo motors. So I've seen to where people uh, have a keypad entry for like a, an office or just something you know fun to do. And it can move around and move a lock down or something. It's, oh, it's so cool. Like you can really geek out on this. And the other project I'm gonna do, and this is just for fun. Uh, well, I mean, it's all for fun. But it comes with, um, first of all, the motor and the fan. It comes with a little fan you can, you can actually start make it turn. And it also has a temperature and humidity sensor. So what I'm gonna do is set it up to where it maybe it connects to my, uh, the API on my router and get the, the heat statistics, or I just have it set up there with the temperature sensor and when it gets too hot, well, the fan will turn on and cool down my router. <laughs> so if you got a home lab and you're trying to you know keep the temperature down, hey, make it automated. It's kind of cool, right? <laughs> but anyways, the kit has a lot more than that. Um, and. I am giving away two of those today, so look at the description below to find out how to enter. And uh, thanks to Elegoo, I think that's how you say it, for giving this away. This is really cool. I've had a lot of fun with it, seriously. So this was day four in the giveaway. I know it wasn't a networking specific giveaway, but hey, this is pretty cool. And if you don't end up using it, hey, you can give it as a gift, right? But you should probably use it, it's fun. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified of every new video that comes out, especially because uh, you wanna be here and fast and ready to get win those David Bombo courses I announce made away through my videos. And um, I guess that's pretty much it. Sorry for the late video again. I'm trying to get better about this. I, I fully intended to post this video much earlier in the day, but you know, this thing happened, so. <laughs> but I think it was worth it. I had fun anyways. I hope you did too. Let me know if you wanna see more of this kind of maker stuff. If you wanna see more about Raspberry Pis and Arduino, I enjoy it and let me know if you do. I think that's it. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, day five. Get y'all later.